Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Born here. We got Stranahan's, a cask strength single barrel. And we're going to test it! Bought in Kansas, <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> Boom. Scoopy. All right, we're coming in. So it's the Stranahan's cask strength. Single, it's got this single cask. Bottle. Single cask. Right. So cask strength. And this but, is yeah, different. New, a new bottle design as well. Now also, set it down. Now pick it up by the lid. Do it. It screws on now. Oh, oh boy, thank you. Yeah, See, I was that right away. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what do you mean? It's going to drop about an inch uh -huh. up. Yeah, because people grab it and then you... Yep. Oh, yeah, right there. Twist, Twist. to open. Yep. Well, isn't on. that smart? Yeah. These much guys are geniuses. <laughs> that had clearly happened to more people than just us. Uh, they go grab it you, and it lets loose. Yeah. Because, well, yeah. So unscrew it. Yeah. Generally, the, it would just slide on. I even did it with my uh, sherry cast strand of hands. With yeah. It, but you're at home. And you grab it. Yeah. And sometimes it would like it be sucked on a little enough. bit and then <laughs> fall out of there. <laughs> yeah. Enough that I wasn't very happy. And so. Then, and then they fixed it. And this is a single malt whiskey as well. Nice. Uh, the, the, I noticed, I had not noticed before, the regular yellow label Stranahan's is not labeled as a single malt. The black label is... It's right there. Yeah. Grab that back. I think boy. it might have even been when we were doing one of them here. Stranahan's is Colorado whiskey. Wow. Look so, at that. So this is a single malt. Single barrel. This one was uh, bottled for Kansas. I'm guessing it's not labeled. It's not on here. Um, this is barrel 15-1252. Yeah. Look on the inside of the sticker even. Straight Rocky Mountain Whiskey. Uh -huh. So in other words, what does that mean? I like the spiral though. 110.44 proof. 55.2%. Right. I'm, I'm now excited. Because... Try. I'm going with the fifth edition Gwyn Karen Canadian style advent calendar glass. Or is that fourth? That's fourth edition, sorry. The fifth edition was a rocks glass. When you take pictures, Look at that. the bottle is down, doesn't roll. I like and that. they're using, I think that was a synthetic cork as well. It is. Yeah. They've been using synthetic yep. for a long time. With the screw on. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we've done a lot of stuff other than the whiskey. 98. Ooh. 101, baby. 101st. Mm. I get those nice barley notes. I was going to say malt. Yep, that malted barley. Sweetness. Honey? Yeah. Is that just a honey? Sugar? And touches of the oak. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. I'm anticipatory now. Now they do include extra info. They used to name them like mine says going to Estes Park. Uh, this is just. I don't think uh, they do. Since uh, yeah, no barrels. two barrels are the same. This is barrel number fifteen twelve fifty two. Okay. Elevation though is five thousand two hundred eighty. Boom. And I grew up at elevation like eighty five hundred. I think. That's what happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. When I went mm. into the army, though, I could run for days. Woo! Mm. Wow. A lot of malt. Woo, boy, a lot of... Almost reminds me of some of the Westland. Uh, how mm. much, how malty that Westland is. Mm. Uh, more, yeah. small, more like a dusty grass. Yes. Yep. Type note. Cinnamon. Uh, there is a sweetness. I don't want to just say honey. Get sweetness. some vanillas, some vanillas, vanilla. like a vanilla cream. Mm, yeah. Yep. And then you're right though that that barley, malty barley flavors all through there. Mm. Very. Did we say the coins? Ninety eight. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, one Um. Great now, and I, I'm, I'm guessing. I think these are around four years old. Really? I think. 
So they don't they, put anything the standard on yellow, oh, yeah, and Kansas then they edition. very it's rich, exclusively for Kansas. Nice finish. Selected by master distiller Rob Dietrich. Every barrel is unique mm. and yields a one of a kind cask strength whiskey. And Rob Dietrich is awesome. He did their whole. He does their whiskey thief stuff and. One of wow. my favorites from 2018, or the favorite, was the Cab Calloway. Mm -mm. This is really, and it's been open for a couple weeks now. I've had a couple of it. At first, it was really malty, grain heavy. The sweetness has come around, uh, really worked its way through. You know, they stole my heart with their little Cast Thief series, and then I was saddened because I didn't feel like this told everything about strand hands. Mm -hmm. This is bringing me right back to the wonderful place mm -hmm. all the way to the improvement of the, mm -hmm. of the, the measuring cup. Yep. I mean, this is, this is really good. And especially if they're each unique and slightly different. So yeah, keep that in mind when you, when there are single barrel releases, there can be variances. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for those differences. This is what this is what I want. This is what I'm talking about with an American single. Mm -hmm. uh, doing it cast style, single cast style, the differences, and then having all the play that Dietrich does with his cask thief series and all of that. Oh my goodness, this is nice. Um, I'm gonna. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be scoring this high. I'm not gonna tell you yet. Even without the, the how the cost coming out, this is going to have a good score on it. I like it, and I like what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And you want to put the little cherry on top, screw in the measuring cup. Mm -hmm. That's a detail. How much? What are we talking? You, are you going to score it first? No, I want to know, but I know bucks. what the score is. Phenomenal. <laughs> okay. Yeah. My score is 91. I like I'm saying this. 92. I like this. I like this I like a lot. Too. Yeah. They're... Uh, I think I think there's I, I think this is going to be strands going to be huge, mm -hmm. huge. It's already big, huge. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, uh, I'd say a 92. It's got a great mouthfeel. I'm still I'm guessing I'm going on limb. It's a, it's a younger whiskey, but what's you know for a four to five year old, and they get like the black label. The Diamond Peak mm -hmm. is a year older than this it's one. Not, or is it black diamond? And then I think it's I don't you're remember. probably right. It's behind me. Um, and then the uh, like the uh, snowflake edition they do is a year older than that. But right. this is the or the standard yellow label is their youngest whiskey. Yes. So, Diamond Peak, you called it, buddy. This is 01. 001. Oh, bachelor. And oh no. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> and then this. Oh my goodness. See, it holds just enough that you get a little. Uh huh. I like that. I was like, pick it up by the lid. Yeah, I'm like, like mm, no. <laughs> and look, yeah, they did. changed the design, too. Look, that's even a top. This just used to say SCW. Maybe that's just the single barrels. Maybe they're switching to that bottle for everything. I, I don't love know. what they're doing. That's uh, it's a I'm good saying. addition. I can't help but save these. I don't feel like I can throw them away. I think it's worth it, too. I was surprised. Uh, I was surprised when it, when it uh, showed up here and it was $60. Yeah. Uh, a bottle. Yeah, where's that at? I couldn't. Auburn. Has Hello. It. It's all over. I've seen it in several stores here in town. Thank so. you. Thank you, Strands, for doing a Kansas edition. Boom. Traveling dummy. I'm digging that. Speaking of classy, take a look at that. Don Nishida. Nishida. He's at uh, the Hilton in Tokyo, and he's got uh, cask four coin number 140 propped up against his little whiskey glass. That's actually, I've got a glass. It's a uh, one of the Riedel uh, mm. whiskey glasses that's shaped Riedel's like that. Doing. I use it quite a bit. I like it. See, I love how he's got, what is that, uh, like wood, like a seating bench or something? and then uh, Yeah. And then behind it, you see the way you laid it out and lined it up with what looks like the street or something. So you see the skyscape just yeah. just extending out. Right out the window. He's up uh, pretty high in the hotel, it looks like. Mm. 20 floors up or so. Yeah, nice. Um, looks very, that's a great shot, Don. Look, oh, 30, is he looking out the 37th floor of Ooh. the Shinjuku Ku while sipping on a Suntory whiskey? Beautiful. I suppose if you're in the Hilton, Tokyo. You should do it. Way to rock it. Great traveling dummy photo. Great. Patreon shout out. Mm -mm. 
we have Dram Session came in at two dollars, so he gets a, a yell. Woo! Cavaliers Raster. Ready? Dram Session. Dram right? Session. Dram Session. Two dollars support. Woohoo! It's almost Thank like you. I like how you use Dram instead of instead of the the this construction that holds back the water. The Dram Session. All right, or jam. Moved. Or jam and session. we have this is another one. Nice. This is nice. One dollar supporter. Ah, that? Alec Bartz. Alec Bartz with a Z. Yep. Love it. Bartz. My first name to his last, baby. Bartz. Thank you, Alec. Appreciate Look it. At that. I'm Oops. loving this. What did I do there? What did you do? Oh Copied my. Copied and pasted an email. There we go. <sighs> Way to undo. <laughs> like a blaster. And. Ooh. Or should we call it there? We no, more. no, no. Let's add in old Butler. Okay. Ed, Ed Butler. Thank you. One dollar supporter. supporter. Yeah, Thank you, Ed. That you it. know what? Continue down. I want to get that other one in. Okay. Because he's Brand a minion. New. Yeah. Both of those are Ed Butler yeah. and Malt Minion just Both came new. in. Yeah, Malt yeah. Minion. Thank They've you, Malt. We've rolled in. Thank you guys very much. Thank you for coming in. All, all the uh, support really helps. And... Uh, you know, with those uh, last two guys that came in new, we're up to 130 Patreon supporters. So, yeah. um, you know, uh, if you're if you're not in, please check it out. Or if you enjoy the show and you just want to give back a little bit, um, we're cheaper than the tip you would give the barista. Maybe, unless you really like us. What do you think? Then we're then we're right around the doorman. <laughs> This is really even opening it up more and becoming oh, sweeter. Oh, I poured a little more. I poured a little more. I was getting something on the nose there, a faint hint of something. I was trying to place it. Marshmallows, maybe? Toasted marshmallows? Hmm. What was it? I don't know. You know, it was so warm here the uh, day before last. I uh, had a little uh, 12 hours of boom fire pit action huh. going on there. We sat out there. Me and the uh, almost 12-year-old lad actually had a phenomenal discussion. It was interesting. It really opened up. So well, I bet that could go on for oh, hours. You get two brunching men <laughs> chatting. You you better just pull up a chair and listen. Stories are about Let's to see. Happen. We did traveling dummy raster. Your shout out might make up. Working on. We don't maybe know. Maybe you just get a shout out. Yeah, we don't know. You're, you you're going to get on. so many because you've you've added in this, this voice modulator that we need to look up and see what it does. <laughs> and I, I think it's probably like a a, um, a Cylon voice. But who, who knows? Who knows? Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. You guys are big helps. Big help. A big help. Uh, support us. You can go to scotchtestdummies.com. I still can't believe it's 2019. got several items of merchandise. 2019 going well. Yep. The coins, what do we got? Still about 100 of these left? Yeah. So go in and, and uh, snap these up because once the design is gone, it's gone. This was So this was Cask 4. It's got our Spartan helmet uh, design on yep. there. Uh, Cask 5 will begin designing here shortly, probably yes. not too far. And aren't out you from. looking at uh, maybe? We don't know. Oh, okay. I thought there before was, you um, just before spoil I, stuff. Although we did, I remember originally we were even looking at like a huge Texas style coin. Yeah, I know that they didn't make it though, right? That big, yeah, because we were thinking something that even covers a rocks class for, for a fifth year, yeah. but they didn't have anything that big, so you it's probably going to gonna go, be a design. The closest thing I could find is what's called a dealer's chip. Ooh. Which people use when they're playing poker, right. and it's it's a, it's a big, big yeah. So yeah. it goes to whoever your dealer is. I've and seen have, that. Yeah, I've seen those. Uh, a little bit thicker. A little, we could get those custom made and have hmm. uh, our own dealer's chip, I guess, and then it's a rocks glass. Could, uh, actually, a coaster as well. So that that actually may be a good one for our fifth. I don't know. I'll leave that up to you because <laughs> I know you got an Maybe idea. Maybe an additional. Okay. Maybe it's like that 5. might be a good 1. additional. Is, yeah, that might be a good additional. I would want one of those. I know you can't really fit it in your pocket. Yeah. What do you got there? Hockey puck? Like it looked like a <laughs> uh, can of skull. You know, you, when did you start well, you, chewing? Uh, uh, smokeless tobacco causes cancer. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. This is a, like a dealer's chip. Oh, you got a gambling problem, mister. <laughs> Scotchy. You just say, no, a drinking problem. A scotch it, you scotch gods. So long, Jim. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>